And if we want to add just some uh, more life to it, then we just go into our M16 and we can go into our defaults and there's not much to it more so we can just extend this bp example gun into a more complex thing so we can go here into event graph we can go into eb bullet we can add uh, shot fired again here it's already done in the parent class but we can use uh, event dispatches multiple times and we don't need to do a um, call to parent function because uh, it can just trigger multiple times it doesn't really matter so uh, we can do let's see what do we have in this pack do we have particles we do have particles emitters um rifle oh okay we got muzzle flash and shadow ejector that's amazing let's use them so let's go here into our m16 let's add particle system so this is muzzle flash we go into viewport we want it to be attached to uh, muzzle socket i guess i guess yeah it's it's like exploding this way okay yeah that seems right and we need to add another component to the weapon mesh which will be our rifle shell ejector so go, let's go back here add component and niagara system shell ejector okay this one and this one will be attached to where will it be attached shell ejector socket okay that explains and i really like how it looks like so we got this and uh, auto activated no and auto activated no okay and we go into event graph and now we just take this activate and we just take this activate and <laughs> that's it and do we have to hit reset i don't really remember but we can try and let's see oh yeah i guess we have to we have to go here and hit uh, not hit this reset because it's oh no 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 so hmm. for the muzzle flash we need to reset but for our shell ejector let's go into shell ejector and uh, expose parameters there are no parameters okay why not maybe it's being blocked by the gun itself so we can just move him a bit maybe even tilt this guy like 15 degrees okay let's try it okay I have seen a shell but just one another one another one okay that's not much um, hmm. so I guess this one need to reset as well and at some point they just stop re uh, spawning for some reason But this is probably something inside the particle itself. Mm, this lifetime. Mm. Okay, I don't really get it. I'm not good with particles. Uh, let's make it zero again because it's already jumping up a lot. Okay, so it just spawns eight shells for some reason. And 
another few. I don't get it. Okay, but the particles are working and I think this guy also has sounds. Uh, so animations, there's blueprints. I mean, let's look at those blueprints. What do they have? What is this? <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, awesome. <laughs> Flashlight, spring. Okay, you have a flashlight. construction script what why okay I don't get it. this is just this is extremely over complicated honestly mm. so let's okay we already got shooting sounds um, yeah, I can show you how to work with sounds in general. So I got this ultimate sound effects bundle and uh, it's a very nice pack, by the way. One of the best I've ever had. Like I had a lot of uh, sound effects packs. Mm. And this one has real recorded guns. I absolutely love this one. I have got a lot of guns, um, a lot of weapons. Uh, but this is the best one. Just go here. Guns. Assault rifle. Okay, it's also press. Okay, let's say that we want to use this one. It's super loud, by the way. We want to use this one in our basic. This is the shooting sound. And this is the animation. Everything is fine. And we want also to make sound on shooting. Okay, we are doing that. Uh, yeah, but we want to enhance our reload. So we'll go here, animations, rifle, uh, reload. So we're going to go into our empty uh, reload montage and it's already or well, in generally set up. So what we want to do is just look carefully. Uh, how it's being handled. So here is the first sound. Okay, those are just shots. Let's do maybe one of those. Mug in, mug out. Okay, mug out, this one. Uh, <coughs> so it will just go here. Notification, sound, play sound. Uh, if you had already selected a sound, it will play this sound here. But if you want it to be uh, in a 3D space, we need to make it follow and follow some socket or bone. Otherwise, it will be just play sound 2D. And this one, it will be just uh, play sound attached. So now we have mag in. We go back into our reload. Here. Okay, mag in. Again, follow and R. And now we have uh, 
Okay, this one is the fastest one, so I guess this will be the best. Mm -hmm. And we go here. Ah. Play sound. I can follow hand R. this cock so let's do it differently oh I really like this one let's make it our shooting sound by the way <coughs> okay Oh, there's something wrong with our shooting sound. Uh, let's go into our base. Plane sound out location. Um, gun attenuation, maybe this is the problem. No, this is not the problem. Hmm, strange. So this is the sound. We can do it differently. We could just, um, yeah, that's actually how I would do it. Uh, because if I have sounded our, uh, I know that they won't change for our weapon. Uh, I can as well just go into animations, rifles, we can go into our um, fire, no, shoot, M16 shoot. And we can just plain sound here. Uh, we can go here, 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 and I think it was this one. Yeah, this one I really liked it. Let's go here and just place it here. Okay, close it as it's super annoying. What? Now it's not playing the montage at all. Is this one for sure? Okay, let's go here. Yes. Uh, huh, that's interesting. Let's see. Why did it stop playing montage? Uh, cast to clamp. Yeah, this is it. 16 is just this, so this shouldn't really matter at all. M16. Let's go to our. I don't need this. Let's go back here. That arms rifle should additive. This is fine. M16 shoot. M16 shoot. 